Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel for another video. So today's video is going to be the January 2022. Pause for a second, take it in, it's almost 2022, it's crazy. Um, January 2022 scent and warmer of the month. I did not get the warmer this month. I think it's super cute, but I am really trying to be conscious specifically of my warmer purchases. Um, wax, I'm, I'm mostly okay with buying more, but warmers I really need to kind of dial it back on. So long story short, I did not choose to get the warmer this month, but the scent is pretty good. I will say too that this is the first month with the changes to the scent of the month kit. So all we get now is eight bars and the rub and sniff stickers as well as the pamphlets or the flyers, whatever you want to call this brochure, I guess. Um, and that's what's in the kit now. So we don't get the room spray anymore. We don't get the tester anymore. Um, but they did that instead of increasing the price, which I think is better. Anyway, let's talk about this scent because I like it. Um, however, I will say if there's one word I could use to describe it, I would say it's pretty like basic or generic. So the scent this month is sun ripened berry. And then just if you guys want to see the warmer, um, obviously this isn't the best view of it because it's not in person, but it says better together, which I think is a really cute sentiment for the, the state of the world right now. Okay. So the, the warmer is I actually think this would have been a better warmer for like February, um, like Valentine's Day. It has like little hearts. Um, that's what those like little dots are, are actually little hearts. And it's almost like there's white over top of like this mauvey pinky red. And so then when it's lit, um, you can see that like pink color a little bit better. Anyway, um, it is going to be six and a half inches tall, 20 watts. So slightly smaller than... Um, or slightly less wattage than a lot of other warmers of that style. It's only 20 watts instead of 25. Um, and it will be $45 in the month of January. If I was a betting woman, I would not bet that that one will sell out, but you never know. Okay, so let's talk about the scent. Um, the basic description of it is a refreshing scoop of orange sorbet sprinkled with sun-ripened raspberries and strawberry sugar. So orange sorbet raspberries and strawberry sugar and I would say overall I feel like I get strawberry I do get strawberry raspberry and that citrus note when I first smelled the tester of it I didn't know what kind of citrus it was but citrus it was yeah but it makes sense to me that it's orange I, I think I think that is really more prominent in the bar and it's a very sweet berry scent that being said, it's pretty basic. It's pretty much, if you like strawberry, if you like raspberry, if you like a little bit of a citrus note in those berry scents, you'll like this. It's not wowing me, I guess, if that makes sense. I also want to compare it really quickly to red pear and pomegranate, which I brought. Um, <clears throat> this was February, 2021 scent of the month. And when I smelled this one, I immediately thought this is kind of similar to red pear and pomegranate. Haven't smelled them side by side yet, but let's smell them. Okay, not really. <laughs> oh, sun ripened berry, is that what it's called? Yeah, is much just like sweeter, juicier. Uh, red pear and pomegranate has a little bit more depth. And by depth, I mean, it has kind of a tart note to it. So something to kind of break up all of that really like juicy sweetness. Yeah, so there, there's definitely a prominent tart note in this. And overall, I think this is just not as sweet as Sun Ripened Berry. It's good. I think this is, like I said, very kind of generic basic. So I think it will be really good to mix with other things. Like I think you could even mix this with some bakery. Um, like this in vanilla bean buttercream, this in sugar cookie, this in almond croissant and have like a berry croissant. I feel like that would be super, super good. I will say, I feel like this is weird timing for this one to come out. Again, the warmer to me gives February vibes and this scent itself is a little bit more like spring, summer. Um, but anyway, okay, let's talk about the notes in depth. The top notes are sun ripened raspberries. Yes, I get that. Apricot water and orange sorbet. Yes, I get the orange sorbet. Do I get apricot or apricot? Kind of like a peachy smell. 
maybe a little bit. But I feel like really primarily I get raspberry, then I get strawberry, and then it's just cut a little bit with a nice citrus note from that orange sorbet. The mid notes are peach bellini, sparkling rosé, and strawberry. I don't smell a sparkling note, like an effervescent note. I have not warmed this yet though. So we'll see if that comes out when I warm it. Yeah, I, and, and still, like I would assume if we have peach bellini and apricot water, I'd get even more of that peach apricot scent. And I'm getting a little bit of it, but not much. And then the base notes are vanilla sugar cane and sweet musk. I don't get a lot of musk. I, don't, I wouldn't, I actually, contrary to a lot of times how I feel about like berry fruity scents, I would say this isn't very much of like a body care scent. I feel like this is pretty authentic, like juicy fruit, like you can eat it, edible, rather than body care, which is what it would read. I feel like if there was a lot of musk in it, so I don't, I'm not getting a lot of musk. Vanilla, <clears throat> vanilla sugar cane is like, eh, maybe there's some vanilla in there kind of smoothing it out. But overall, I think this will be a really good scent for a majority of people. Like I said, if you like berry scents, if you like something with a little bit of citrus, I think you're really going to love this. I think kids are going to love this because it's basically just straight up sweetness. Um, that being said, though, I think that this is a scent that Scentsy has done um, before, like, or very similar to other scents Scentsy has done. So it's good, just doesn't really wow me. I am excited to warm it, though, and give it a shot. Um, as always, the scent, including the bar, room spray, and cir scent circle will all be 10% off in January. And if they stay around longer than that, which usually they end up being around longer than that, um, they'll be available for, for full price. But that is January's scent in warmer of the month. Have you got your kit yet or have you smelled the tester in the whiff box? I know that some people didn't get it in the whiff box and that's just such a bummer. It, the unfortunate thing about the whiff box this month was that it had that exclusive bar in it. And if you wanted that bar, if you wanted more of that bar, you had to buy the whole whiff box. So I think that we they sold a lot more whiff boxes than they were originally estimating. And so they ran out of the scent of the month for January um, little scent pot testers. So anyways, have you smelled this? Do you like it? What do you think of it? Do you also think it's kind of basic? Um, what are you going to do to kind of spice it up? Are you going to mix it with something? I feel like this mixed with like oodles of orange or sun-kissed citrus uh, would really brighten up that orange note, which I really think that would be really nice. Or even with like squeeze the day. And like I said, with bakery, like this, try this with almond croissant. I think I'm going to try that mix because I think that would give like berry croissant deliciousness. Okay. Anyways, that is the scent and warmer of the month for January. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of the scent if you've had a chance to smell it. Um, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everybody.